Welcome to Riddle Me That, where our players answer brain teasers to win products from Bat 19. Our first round features Davey and Danny. You guys will be answering classic riddles. And for this classic round, we have a classic prize the world's smallest Rubik's Cube. This itty bitty brain buster is a fully playable 3x3 cube that's small enough for puzzling on the go. So let's see who has a big enough brain to win this tiny prize. You guys ready? Ready, sure. Okay, you got your buzzers in front of you. What has a head, a tail, is brown, and has no legs? Head, a tail, is brown. I'll be honest, I thought this was gonna be the easiest one. <laughs> wow, tail is what's getting me. Talk it out. Um, a penny? A penny is right! <laughs> First I was like, maybe it's a boat, or maybe it's like an aircraft or something, but then I was thinking heads and tails, and pennies are kind of brown looking, so. You ready for the next one? I'm ready. I am not alive, but I grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air. I don't have a mouth, but water kills me. Water kills you? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, what were you thinking? What did you think it was going to be? I was going to say a plant, but like water doesn't kill a plant. <laughs> yeah, I got to the water part. And it just, I got too excited. I'm out now. What? You don't want to give a guess? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, fire. Yes! That's correct! Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. What? <laughs> wow! <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Know. What is light as a feather, but no one can hold it for long? Light as a feather, but no one can hold it for long. Air? Um... Close. Oh, I got it. It's like air, but it's breath. Yes! Because you can't breath. hold your breath for very long. You can't hold your breath for very long. It's really light. You were there. Technicality. Next question. Okay. How can you make seven even? How can you make seven? That's an odd number. Even. What do you think, Davey? I don't think. I don't know. Take the L out of 11. How do you make seven even? Take, seven is... Take the S off? Yes! <laughs> you take uh, off the S. What has a neck but no head? Guitar has a neck but also has the head. A beer? I mean, technically. A bottle. A bottle! Dave, you are so close! I'm just like, you got me there. <laughs> Next question. What is black when you buy it, red when you use it, and gray when you throw it away? A newspaper. Is it? Wait, why is it red? <laughs> why is it you thing? read it. It's black. Oh. It's black when you buy it. The print is like, and then you read it, and then it's gray when why you throw it away because it's like just looks gray. <laughs> <laughs> like after like twenty years. I don't know, man. <laughs> Coal. Yes, charcoal is go. the answer. Yeah. Black when you buy it. Red, red when you use it, and it's like on fire. Close. Gray when you throw it away. What invention lets you look right through a wall? A window? Yes! A window! Yeah. That's not a riddle as much of a fact. <laughs> well, yeah. What has a neck but no head, two arms but no hands? So it's not a clock because they have hands. They have hands. But what else has arms? Arms are weapons. Like a tree? A tree's all neck. <laughs> the tree's all neck. It's got some hair on top. All right, last thoughts. Davey, you need this one, I'll be honest. A flow chart? Explain that? I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. Flowchart was best. That's all you get. A fan. I don't know. A oh! fan. Did you just get it? It's a sweater. Yes, it's a shirt or a sweater. <laughs> that does bring us to the end of our first round. Danny, congratulations. You have won Woo. the world's smallest Rubik's Cube. We have Corey and Kyle. Now, guys, this round is all about the true brain busters. So it's only fitting that the winner gets to bust a brain with the giant brain ball. Whoever can rack their brains the best gets to beat up that brain too. You guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. You can break me without touching me or seeing me. What am I? I'm gonna guess ice. Can you break ice without touching it? You could break the ice in a conversation. Oh. That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay. But without seeing it, because it's like a metaphorical exactly. thing. Tension. Can I do that? Um, Can I just butt in? Yeah, that's not the answer, Talk. but that's also pretty good, actually. The answer we're looking for is a promise. Oh, that's yeah, sad. That's, it's really sad. <laughs> wow. Tension and ice were both, we'll give like a half a point each. How about that? Does that sound good? Yeah, so we're both starting at zero to zero again, yeah. basically. Yeah, but you feel better about yourself. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I am full of holes, but I can still hold water. What am I? Some Lie. sort of gardening instrument. Right? Like so what kind of gardening instrument are you thinking here? I don't know, maybe less guard. What about beekeepers? Keepers what about beekeepers? beekeepers? You've gotten us way off topic here, so. <laughs> no. All right, here we go. Okay, Corey's gonna answer. I'm gonna say an alibi. 
But if your eyeball is full of holes, it doesn't really like hold water, right? Well, I mean, how good are these detectives? <laughs> <laughs> the answer we were looking for, a sponge. Oh, yeah, that's correct. David's father has three sons, Snap, Crackle, and... Is this a trick question? They're all kind of trick questions. I mean, the obvious answer is Pop, but something tells me... It's too easy. What are you thinking, Kyle? What's going through your head? David's father has three sons. Mm -hmm. Oh. Snap. Snap. Crackle. Crackle. And David. David! Oh, I worked it out <laughs> for you. Right. Next question, are you guys ready? Is it about food? No, maybe, I guess I shouldn't say. I am white when I am dirty, and I am black when I am clean. What am I? A newspaper. <laughs> Can you explain why that makes sense? A dozen. <laughs> I like the confidence though. A third of a point for confidence. What could be white? Like a black washcloth with uh, white paint on it. Okay, technically is that sort a stretch. Of stretch? <laughs> uh, any final thoughts before we wrap up this question? Uh, I keep thinking of like a white lie, but that doesn't make any sense. Broken <laughs> promises, alibis, white lies. <laughs> the answer is a blackboard. <laughs> I make two people out of one. What am I? An ax. Oh, that's oh. crazy. Okay. Well, that was, that was a hypothesis. That wasn't I don't feel answer. comfortable being here. You make two people out of <laughs> I one? I make two people out of one. What am I? A mirror. Yes, a mirror! Oh. You got it, buzz in next time. <laughs> mirror. What has six faces but does not wear makeup? It has 21 eyes but does not see. Just think it's something with bugs. Okay. It's yeah. something bug related. Six faces, it's some sort of cube. Okay, okay. The dice. Oh, Kyle! The dice! Oh. Thanks, Corey. Those are called eyes. Kyle, nicely done. What travels around the world but stays in one corner? What are you thinking, Corey? What's going through your brain? Um, the first thought I had was time, which mm. that sounds deep, like most of my answers makes no sense. <laughs> oh, it's your corner. It goes around the world, doesn't it? Because it rotates. Kind of true, actually. So any corner. I win. <laughs> <laughs> I would give you three eighths of a point. Okay. Is this a geometry question? It is not. I got nothing. Kyle, any last thoughts? No. Okay. The answer is a stamp. It yeah. stays in the corner oh. of the envelope. Yeah, that's correct as well. <laughs> Look how Corey approves every answer. That is a correct answer. <laughs> this one's a little hard, I'll be honest. What has cities but no houses, mountains but no trees, water but no fish? Mars. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> I guess they did find some water on Mars. Yeah. But it has fish. cities? They might. <laughs> <laughs> Prove that they don't, Ben. <laughs> if we find cities on Mars and retroactively, Kyle gets a point. Okay. Corey, what are you thinking here? Well, originally I was thinking of like a Monopoly board, but that definitely has houses. I was also thinking about flags. Okay. Oh, is it a map? Yes, Corey, you got it! Well done! Kyle eked it out with the random partial points I was giving out, so congratulations, Kyle. You win the brain ball. I win the brain. I don't even know how I got here, but here I am. <laughs> now I have a brain. For our next round, we have John and Adam. Guys, this round is all about puns. So we'll be playing for Elon's Musk air freshener. This pleasant air freshener bears the visage of Elon and smells like innovation, I guess. Whoever is the best wordplay player at the end of the round will reek of victory. John, I feel like you've been ready for this for a long time. I was born for this. <laughs> okay, first question. What did the cab driver wear to the wedding? What did the cab driver wear to the wedding? His tuxedo. Oh. You got it! Taxido. Taxido is wow. correct. Wow. Okay, so this this is the level of pun we're at. That is the level of pun we are at. We're at like dad joke level. Okay. We're at Laffy Taffy level. Okay. Don't get too smart with these. That'd be my recommendation. I'm a pretty dumb person, so I got this covered. <laughs> what did the pancake say to the baseball player? First base, second base, uh, third base. Uh, Doing a lot of baseball stuff, I like it. Yep, like yep, it. yep. Curveball, curve pancake. No, that's not a thing. Pancake, um, say to the baseball player. Um, butter up. What'd you say? Butter up. Oh, so close, but not there, John. I don't know. Batter up, batter up. Oh. Batters. You got it. <laughs> Batters up. Batter up. I should have seen pancake batter. I was thinking of the butter on top of right, the pancake. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Next question. Why didn't the couch trust the lamp? Was it too bright? He was throwing shade. 
Yes, I'll count that. It was technically, it seemed shady. Seemed shady. Same, same joke. Gotcha. The appropriate response to a pun is, hmm. <laughs> mm, okay. It's not laughter. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I just gotta prepare my groan for this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is <laughs> a good one. My groan. What time does a tennis player wake up? Tennis, tennis ball. Serve. Serve. Uh, um, time to serve up some breakfast. <laughs> if there was ever one to not overthink. <laughs> it's this one. Tennis the time when a tennis player wakes up. That is correct. Are you serious? The answer is tennis. <laughs> I'm going to call it that. Okay, that was so dumb. I, I'm so kind of proud of myself. <laughs> How does a bull write? How does a bull write? Use a pen, pencil, bulldoze, um, with a bull pen? Yes, that is correct, Adam. I love it. Good job. What do you call a happy cowboy? It's going with like a Desperado, like not a depressed Dorado, but like <laughs> the opposite of a depressed Dorado. It's right. another word for happy. Elated, uh, joyful. Um, this is harder than it seems. Prairie ranch. If they live on a plane, ranch, on a they're a uh, ranch hand. Rancher. Rancher? The reveal is just so not worth it either. <laughs> so that's so the dumb. worst part. It's a happy rancher. A happy Wait, rancher is cheerful a... Cheerful rancher, excited rancher, joyful rancher, jolly rancher. A jolly rancher! <laughs> ah, takes a lot of brain power to think that dumb. All right, next question. Yes. I think this one's actually clever. I'm going to okay. say that. I think this one's clever. Okay. All right. How is Europe like a frying pan? You're not a Russian to cook these french fries. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling Tell it now. Right. You put food in a frying pan and, and you fry it. Grease. They both have grease. Oh, that's close enough, I think, John. It is they both have grease on the bottom. Ah! Adam, you are the winner of the dumbest wordplay round. I don't know if that's something to be proud of or not. Uh, I'll take it as a compliment. Okay, this next one's easy. Remember to go to vat19.com to check out hundreds of curiously awesome gifts, and we'll see you next time. Vat19.com